So, Fafa, that was a, a fun, fun game. It's like first half in control, second half it felt that you let them get back into it, but then just not giving up to the very end, just showing that fighting spirit. I think it says a lot about the, the team. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think the first half was excellent. Um, but you know, um, these games, when you when you do allow teams back in, it's it's important to show character. Um, you know, the 3-2 is not a, a true reflection of how we played, I feel. But um, overall, I think um, just the group fighting together and still finding a result, which is important in this league and throughout the year, um, it's important to find wins uh, any way you can. And we found a way. Everybody did their part in, in getting back into the game and finding a way to, to pull off a win. Talk a little bit about just your, your start with the team. You've come in, you scorer right now. How do you feel you, you fit into the team? How does it feel compared to other teams that, that you've come to o over the years in the league? You seem to have just come in right away and adapted to the system and you're, you're flying right now. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been great. The locker room's great. We have a, an amazing group of guys. <clears throat> I think um, you know it was uh, important for me to just come in and find a rhythm right away. I didn't want to. Generally, I take a bit uh, a bit of time to to get on the score sheet. Usually, it takes five six games when you switch teams. Maybe even eight or nine games. But um, I wanted to come here and and make an immediate impact. And um, I think this group is special, and we can we can do a lot of great things this year. But again, it's early, and we don't want to get ahead of ourselves. But we also realize the potential. Uh, Fafa, a little bit uh, on, on what Michael was asking there. Vanny was talking about how maybe it took you a little bit to get adjusted to the system. You've played a certain way, and, and you know throughout your career, and then it, come, you come into a very very zonal marking kind of. Uh, system and it takes you a little bit of time to adjust but now do you feel like you are in it with the system that you understand it and you're on the way the same wavelength as the other players on the team definitely um i think uh i've been around enough systems to adapt quickly i think i was i was ready for whenever my number was called so um when it was called i was ready if it was called before that i would have been ready as well um it's been my job for like Ali said, uh, 24 years now, so um, uh, I'm always ready for, for whatever the situation. And I came here with that mindset to, to adapt to whatever was needed from me, and um, I just want to continue to build off of that. And talking a little bit, uh, a bit about Ali there, a little bit come in for the same time again. <laughs> um, but uh, like I was talking with him before, you two are similar profiles in the team. You like to go one-on-one. -on -one. Both of you favor the left. Yeah. Uh, even switched at one point. How's it been from your end, being able to have Ali as somebody that you can sort of mentor and help out to help him uh, continue to develop in his career? I think he's a he's an amazing player, extremely extremely gifted, um, and also a really humble kid, um, full of potential. So I'm uh, I'm excited to you know be in the locker room together. We spend a lot of time together, and and like he said, we we joke all the time together and. Um, it's not just soccer. I think he shares a similar mindset where um, it's important to have fun but also work hard, and that's the way I've been my whole life. Um, and we share a very similar mentality. So the more I can uh, teach him and, and even within it, uh, just build off of each other. Uh, we're teammates. I'm, I can take somewhat of a mentor role, but at the same time, we're teammates and we're building off of each other. So um, as much as I can do my part to help him, I know he's also doing his. and. Off the field, we're homies as well, so it's a, it's a great partnership and a and a great friendship. So I'm I'm looking forward to to an interesting year together. Papa, you said that this was a, kind of a character win for your team. How would you describe the character of this team? Um, it's 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 great. I think um, we all want to play for each other. When you go into our locker room uh, on the day to day, we don't have egos. We all just kind of get along, and you know we spend time together. Whether it's on the road, we all have our our little groups, but sometimes we switch up the groups, and we're always talking and communicating within the within the team. So um, I think that reflects on the field. Um, it's not always the case when you go to different teams. So it's been very easy to adapt here to the locker room and, and to this group of guys. And I think anybody that comes here would find it easy to, to adjust. So um, that's, um, that's a reflection in this result today. I think we all just played for each other. Whoever got that goal, we would have been happy. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad Pollo Raposo jumped on that because uh, we weren't, it wasn't going in. I don't know if it was going in or not, but he got it and, and it, put us, it put us where we are now. So I'm very happy. Um, it's a great group and we're all ready to fight for each other. 
Rafa, what do you make of the depth scoring that you guys are getting right now from yourself and, and the others? Last year, obviously, you know, Ryan and Brian were scoring a lot of goals, assisting a lot of goals, but sometimes you know, a lot would go through them. So what do you kind of make of now you guys having a bit more depth to, to score these, these goals from different sources? Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's very important. I mean, I'm coming from a place where I had to do the same. I'm in Nashville, so um, my sole purpose was to come here, score. I think everybody's holding their weight, too. Other guys are stepping up scoring. Um, and it's not just the scoring. It's uh, the all-around play. Guys are assisting each other. Sam came in, put a great ball in, very dangerous, um, just within a few minutes of him being on a pitch. So there's so many things involved and everybody doing their part. So, you know, the stat sheet's one thing, um, but there's guys that may not score for 10, 12, 15 games. But it doesn't mean they're doing less than anybody else. So we'll all take the credit for whatever we have to do. And, and again, we just want to keep building off of it because it's a very, very long year. Hi, Fafa. Hey. Uh, this was your first Cascadia. Red Sox. Yes, the best team, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> this was your first time in the Cascadia rivalry. What did you make of the atmosphere, the noise, just being a part of that? That was great. Um, one, it was great to get the first, my first goal in BC place, which was an awesome feeling. Um, in front of the home fans, and, and even better to get a win against Portland. So um, we know what it means to our fans, but also to our locker room, and it was just a big moment, but also because of uh, where it puts us in the standings at the moment. Um, you know, it's a, it was kind of a crunch, like we said, crunch, crunch goal, but um, we're very, uh, very optimistic about what we can continue to do now. We know how you have adjusted, but what about Dolce and Cabana? I hear they have arrived. How are they doing? They are home. They're having a great time. Um, this has probably been one of their best adjustments. They're, they're currently at the house um, playing on their wheel, probably running on their wheel, getting their exercise as well, my little cathletes. So um, they train just as much as me, and I, I love them. Now, there's another big matchup next weekend against Toronto, another rivalry. Uh, what are your thoughts on playing that team? They also have a new coach. Uh, they have some Italians you may have heard of. Yes, um, I'm just excited to, that we only have to listen to one national anthem instead of two. At the same <laughs> it's kind of long. But at the, at the same time, uh, it's going to be exciting. Um, I think it's going to be a great game. They have very talented players, a very good squad at the same time. Um, that's not the focus for us. We want to continue to focus on what we do and, um, and how we perform against these teams. I think we're starting to, to get into the talk of maybe being the dangerous team as opposed to um, just thinking about who we're playing against or our opponents. Um, at the same time, we want to consider them because we know they have a very good group. Um, and it's going to be a great matchup. And uh, it's going to be nice to be back in front of our fans again. Would you like to see the anthems taken out of sports before the game? No, I love the anthems. I love the anthems. I love. Uh, just one. No, I, I'm glad I just have to hear one because uh, I got to restretch after after the doubles. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Awesome. All right. All right. Thanks. 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 Thanks.